Oh, don't fall off. Oh my God. Be on my A game. Nice. Oh, this is very steep now. I was trying to scam a, se a season's pass for students and I need to make sure I did enough days to actually buy a real pass. When mountain biking first arrived at the Olympics in 1996, some few of us were there and we're still around. Hey, you just said it's the start? This is, this is the start of the jank now. What was that? That was the warm up jank. No. Different. Oh no! I might be concussed, but oh, we, don't, no. we don't know yet. What's up guys, we're Hannah and Mo, and if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know we have been on a road trip up to BC, and we finally made it just in time to ride with a free ride legend and test out some sweet Rocky Mountain bikes on some epic Whistler trails. Will we survive this epic ride? Let's find out. What's up you guys? Welcome to another bright and sunny day here in British Columbia. We have been loving our time up here in Whistler. We've been going for a ton of rides both in the bike park and out of the bike park. Today's a really rad day because we have an epic adventure with a rowdy crew. We're going to be riding with Rocky Mountain Bicycles and specifically a free ride legend, Wade Simmons. They told me be prepared, bring lots of water. This is gonna be a rowdy time. They're really for that long? I don't know, that's what they told me on the invite. <laughs> oh, I should probably fill up my bottle. I think we'll be okay, we'll be on e-bikes, so I just gotta conserve my battery and just play a, a strategic ride, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we finally made it to the Rocky Mountain booth, picking up the bikes, and we ran into an insane legend. How you doing? Where's the legend? All right here. <laughs> I know. Uh, how are you? Wade Simmons here. Um, who am I? I'm. Uh, I was born in Canada in 1973. I'm an old. I used to love bikes from a kid. Started BMX racing. Then I got into mountain bikes in like 87, 88. My older brother. We all had mountain bikes and. Uh, and I, uh, I started free riding. On pink bikes, someone said, no one calls himself the Godfather. And to set him straight, I never called myself the Godfather. <laughs> that was a name kind of given to me by uh, the free ride guys, old old filmers in New World Disorder. I don't know if you remember those videos, the New World Disorder. Yeah, I was around, I was around. <laughs> You'd have to have a VHS, VHS machine or something like that. But uh, the reason I kind of got coined the Godfather free ride is because I can kind of do it all. Like free riding is not one discipline. It's not like cross country. It's not like enduro. It's like jumping, skidding down cliffs, uh, going down scree slopes, riding urban. And I, I kind of had a lot of different skills from my background that I could apply into all these different terrains. And hence, I guess I'm the godfather of freeride. We are going to ride Rocky Mountains offering the, the e-bikes. Uh, we have an instinct for Hannah and an and a altitude for you. So the altitude is a 170, 160 bike and the instinct is a 150, 140. So, so a little less travel on the on the instinct, a little more travel on the altitude, but they're both capable bikes. Uh, Rocky's born and bred in BC. These bikes are made for these trails. Do you think we're gonna survive the ride with Wade Simmons? Sure. <laughs> with Wade, ooh, I don't know. I think it's gonna get spicy. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Ooh, I say you have a 50-50 chance. Um, I think it'll be close, but I think you'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound confident at all. <laughs> That's enough. Do you think we're going to survive the ride with Wade? No. No. Wade's intention is to take people out get lost and that's when the, the the adventure begins i think so i think it'll be really fun last time i rode with him it was gnarly but it was sick so yeah <laughs> my name's Celeste pomerantz i'm an adventure rider more like bike packing and backcountry mountain biking i also ski in the winter and yeah i'm squamish and yeah that's me <laughs> do you think we're gonna survive the ride with wade oh yeah there'll be some jank and some rocks i'm sure he's taking us to the no flow zone trevor i made trail forks as a way to try to find how many days a year I skied on the mountain. So I was trying to scam a, se a season's pass for students and I needed to make sure I did enough days to actually buy a real pass when they added an age limit. That's actually how Trail Fork started. I started as a little Facebook app to, to track how many days a year I skied. And then I tra transitioned it to tracking how many days I mountain bike the next year and then wanted to start mapping the trails to tag which trails I had ridden that day. And then that's how it kind of just evolved. We're gonna be heading out towards Yummy Nummy Climb, up to Comfortably Numb. Got Hannah up front. I think this might be our first time riding e-bikes on tech trails in Canada. <laughs> oh, don't fall off. Oh my God. <laughs> Ah. Anytime the single track gets tighter <laughs> and techier, I get more nervous. It's just such a foreign feeling. Yes, you have a lot more power, but it still requires the effort <laughs> to make it over the tech. 
Nice, Anna. So good. Oh, we have a really steep section. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! You okay? How gnarly did that look? A little steeper than I expected. Yeah, you gotta take a big run at it. Ooh. I know, it was actually okay, it wasn't rock. Yeah, you wanna come in a bit slower and let the bike do the work, like a nice spin, right? <laughs> the tip would have been nice before the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice company to follow. <laughs> I'm just fully trusting this guy's lines. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I love this type of slab. Single track slab is what I like to call it. Okay, up and over. Um, forward momentum. You need momentum here. That is the BC name of the game. <sighs> nice, man. Oh my God, my legs are on fire, guys. Even though I'm on an e-bike, as crazy as that is. Not nose bonk off this little skinny. That is a nightmare, right? Oh my God, I am so tired. I can't even tell I'm on an e-bike. <laughs> nice. Oh my God. My legs are on fire, guys. Oh my God. Hey, you just said it's the start. <laughs> this is the start of the jank now. What was that? <laughs> that was the warm up jank. <laughs> no. Different. Another legend here. How you doing, man? I'm doing very well, thanks. My name's Yef, and I, I ride bikes much, and we're up here in Whistler doing Crankworks. It's basically like Christmas for all the guys, and uh, had a big injury last year, but we're back healthy, and it's great to be shredding again and seeing all my friends. Free Hub Magazine. Nice. Yeah. And how long have you guys been around? We've been around for 15 yeah. years in print. We're one of the last standing print magazines in the mountain biking world. You're an Olympian. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> what 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 Olympian are you? <laughs> From the first, when mountain biking first arrived at the Olympics in 1996, some few of us were there and we're still around. Nice. Andreas Hessler, AKA. <laughs> E R E. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna bleep that, but yeah. It's... Hannah had a gnarly crash, so I am gonna be leading the way with my buddy from Freehub, a magazine that honestly is probably one of the best magazines on the market right now. Love the content. We're joking about Jank. Here we go. Nice. Oh, gnarly. La right turn. <laughs> so this looks very sketchy. I see exposure on the right. You guys know me in exposure. We're gonna try and stay alive. Nice. Awesome. All right, more downhill. Oh my God, narrow tech. That is the most terrifying because the roots stick out. And if they catch, you are gonna hit. Oh my God. Over the rock skinny. Over the off came for this three. <laughs> Trail is so gnarly. <laughs> I think it's getting nice and steep again. Sick. Oh my God, so good. The funniest thing is we were looking at condos the other day. As you guys know, we're looking for a home base and Whistler, honestly, probably one of our favorite places to be in the world. Nice, man. Awesome. So steep. Now, like I said, Rocky Mountains e-bike system is based around their trail bike and their enduro bike, instinct and altitude. I have the altitude high on the list because this thing feels insane. Oh, nice. <laughs> kind of terrifying, but nice. Hearing the rock just freaking fly off that side of that cliff. Sick. The guy in front of me with Freehab, 55 and insanely killing it. I really hope I'm a fraction as cool as these guys. Oh my God. So good, so steep. Nice. Might be the most dangerous part of the ride. I'm following Wade Simmons. This is, you guys are gonna see me run out of talent very fast. How old are you guys? Yeah. Come on. <sighs> nice. 
Oh, now I'm terrified because we're high up and I have weight in front of me. Oh man. So cool. Uh, this is steep. Oh, nope, that is insane. Man, these pro riders, when they ride, it's so effortless. And it makes you really kind of question, am I even good at riding a bicycle? Because you see them ride and you're like, holy hell, how do you make that look so easy? All right, steep. Got to be on my A game. Nice. Oh, this is very steep now. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Nice, Wade. <laughs> Nice. So good. You're another legend here. What was your name? My name's Matt Hunter. I ride for Specialized and just a trail mountain biker. Probably not gonna go good. because I think this guy's really good and I'm not. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yep, no, he's gone. <laughs> nice, Matt. Ooh. Oh, yep, this is Shaley. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I'm just trying to freaking stay alive at this point. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, this looks like death. Oh man, this feels like death. Okay, stay alive, Mo. Oh my God, that is a tight corner. Nice. Ah. Woo. Oh, more death moves. Nice, Matt. Nice, dude, that was awesome, man. Such a good line. Oh no, how was the ride? Good. I might be concussed, but oh, we, don't, no. we don't know yet. A little pressure in the head, but it's okay. Well, I'm happy you made it down. Thank you. <laughs> 